In the fact sheet at Dr. Brink's Corner on StarMilling.com, you'll see that there are multiple body parts that we need to evaluate for the presence of fat for the body condition scoring. They are the neck area, the withers, the shoulder, in particular this fat pad that lies behind the shoulder. We look at the rib area. One of the confusions are that people look at the entire rib area. We want to consider just this quadrant, which is the upper quadrant closest to the shoulder area. Because as you palpate and look at the animal, the further you go down the ribs into their belly line, the ribs are more palatable and more visual. And the further you go back to their rump area, the same thing. They become more palatable and more visual. So when we actually evaluate the ribs, it's just in this area. The other areas that we're going to consider are the point of hip, the point of buttocks, the tail head. This is one of the first places in the, even the most thin horses where we'll see fat deposition is around the tail head. We'll look at the ridge along the back and other areas that really only come into play when a horse is extremely fat in the obese to eight and nine score will be behind the point of elbow and between the thighs, between the legs. And for lack of a better expression, I often use that term, the twist, which is the term we take from cattle.